Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're going to be making s'mores cupcakes. You heard me right, s'mores cupcakes. Mmm, I love s'mores. In case you can't make it to a local fire pit, well, these cupcakes will save you because they're going to be delicious. And also because it's more than a feeling, marshmallows get me reeling. Mmm, marshmallows. This s'mores interpretation of a cupcake comes together pretty quickly. The first thing that we're going to do is you need to find cookie butter. This is speculous cookie butter, but you can find this at your local supermarket. We're going to take this, create little balls, freeze them, make the batter for the cupcakes themselves, and then the marshmallows go on top and they get nice and toasty. Mmm, delicious cookie butter. What does it actually taste like? We're going to find out. Let's try it right now. So I've never tasted this before. Tastes like a melted down gingerbread slash molasses cookie. And I can see why they're using it in the s'mores recipe to add that graham cracker flavor. Take heaping teaspoonfuls of your cookie butter, put it down on parchment paper on a cookie sheet and into the freezer it goes for a few hours. It's gonna go directly into the cupcake batter while their dough is cooking in the oven into the freezer for a few hours. You want these frozen solid. About a half hour before you're ready to take your cookie butter little balls out of the freezer, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. If you've liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to click the like button, that thumbs up, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. We're going to quickly put together the yummy chocolate batter for the cupcakes. Hands only needed. Your mixer gets a day off. Then after we've put all the ingredients together, we put it in the muffin cups, goes in the oven, and then halfway through the baking cycle, we add in those freezer balls of cookie butter yumminess. And then we continue to bake and then we put the marshmallows on top and we're done. And we have s'mores cupcakes. Yes. Whisk all the dry ingredients together. One and a half cups all purpose flour. One cup sugar. Quarter cup Dutch processed cocoa, which I don't have, or just regular cocoa. Half teaspoon salt. A half teaspoon espresso powder is optional. I see it in a lot of chocolate recipes. I don't have it, but feel free to add it in. One teaspoon baking soda. Whisk together. Whisk together your wet ingredients. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One tablespoon apple cider vinegar. Yes, you heard me right. Apple cider vinegar. Could be white vinegar too. For the reason why, check out my chocolate chip cookie recipe. One third cup vegetable oil. One cup cold water. Whisk together. Pour the wet into the dry ingredients and stir until thoroughly combined. We're making 12 cupcakes, so feel free to use some festive cups. These are s'mores cupcakes after all. Divide the batter between each cup. the 
the oven for 12 minutes only. And then we're gonna put those little freezer balls of cookie butter on top and let it bake some more. All right, I've taken these out of the freezer. And they are perfectly frozen solid, just like we want them. I'm waiting for the timer to go off and I'm literally just gonna plop these frozen pieces of cookie butter on top of the cupcake. I'm not gonna submerge them or anything and try to do this while the cupcakes are in the oven without burning yourself, really important because you don't want the cupcakes to fall. It's sort of a catch 22 and just let's see how it goes. Okay, let's try to do this quickly. Literally just plopping it on top. It seems to be sinking all on its own. Trying to be very careful here. Back it goes for another 12 minutes. While the second round of the cupcake baking is in the oven for 12 minutes, cut your marshmallows. You'll need 24 of them vertically. It's sort of like um, if you're butterflying a chicken or something, you still want there to be a hinge in it. And then what we're gonna do is crisscross them over themselves when the muffins are done and put it on broil so you get lovely toasted marshmallows. Just watch. I cut too many marshmallows. What shall I do? Hmm. Mm. All right, another 12 minutes are up. Let's see if they're done. Use a toothpick and see if it comes out clean. Only put your toothpick in the cake part. Let's see. Oh, they smell so good. That is clean. Let's take them out. At this point, set your oven to broil because we're going to put the marshmallows on top right now and get them back in the oven. Remember how I mentioned the crisscross? That's what we're going to do just like this. Crisscross apple sauce, but s'mores cupcakes in this case and put it on top just like so. into the oven it goes on broil until they're a nice toasted roasted marshmallow on top but keep an eye on it it could be as little as a minute or a couple minutes just watch it they are nice and toasty let's take them out Woo! That is s'mores looking perfection. Let them stay in here until they're about lukewarm and then remove them to a cooling rack. Okay, you know this is my favorite part, the tasting. Oh yes. So let's take a look at them. It's got a nice chocolate cupcake below and nicely toasted marshmallows on top. Mm, just the way I like them. They're not too burnt and they're not too light. They are just right. But feel free to toast your marshmallows on top however you personally like them. And also, don't forget, if I can do this, I've never made these before, you can too. Okay, let's cut it in half. Oh my, marshmallowy gooeyness. Let's take a look at that. Oh yum, look at that cookie butter filling is just oozing and delicious. Oh yum, yes. You know what we have to do next. We have to take a bite. 
Look at that. This looks so delicious. It's quite big. <laughs> let's see if I can do this. Let's, let's try it. That is really, really good. I taste the chocolate cake, but I think the first thing I taste is the marshmallow, that little crispiness on top. And then that cookie butter comes through with that holiday cookie graham crackery flavor. This is a very unique dessert and delicious. If I can do this, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends so they too can make these delicious s'mores cupcakes. Mm. I think I cut too many marshmallows. What shall I do? Mm. Mm. That was it. Mmm. 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 Marshmallows. Mm. <laughs> I'm done.